Hello, uh, quick video on how to use the CAMI external tool specifically for the transposition uh, assignment. So when you open up your canvas, it'll look something like this. And all of these links, honestly, they lead to the same place. They really do. Um, we just come down to session four and we'll be looking at the cleft transposition assignment. This one is a graded assignment. Um, you will have a, there is a grading scale getting it done uh, completely or not. Uh, I just gotta wait for this thing to load. All right, this is Cami. This is how we, hold on, let me make my face a little smaller. Um, yeah, this is how I have you do assignments. So when, when you do like those paper assignments that normally you would do in class, you're going to do them at home and this is how I want you to do them. Um, some of them are just like adding letters and stuff, but when it comes to drawing music um, and ri making rhythms and stuff, you can either use the drawing tool right here or the shapes tool right there. So let's uh, quickly, we, this is the transposition one. You should have watched the video on how to do transposing. So for just for quickness, I know that F, that's A, that's uh, E, and that is C. All right, so I know those ones are, and I know that these are the letters that I have to put over here. So I need to make sure that I draw an F, an A. Come on. E and a C. So mine are not like perfect and they don't look exactly on the lines, but whatever. So you can either use the drawing tool. Um, I, you know, you can do whatever color you want. Black is pretty standard. So I want to just draw where the F is in base clef. Um, I know that that F is down here. So I can just sit here and I can draw my note right there. Now, the thing that you want to be careful with, though, is when I draw the A right here, I got to make sure that when I draw my little A in here, it doesn't cross any of the lines. Because if it crosses the line, then it's no longer an A. If it crosses the top line, it becomes a G. And if it crosses or it becomes a B, if it crosses the bottom line, it becomes a G. So you need to make sure that it fits in there. So if you don't think that you could draw everything in there, you can come over here with the shapes tool um, and just draw that in here instead. Look, there is an E and there is a C. Ta-da. Okay, so you can either use shapes or drawing tool and the text tool. Uh, if you don't like the way that looked, then just uh, come over here and you can do a little bit of erasing and fix that. It erases the text box too, which is kind of annoying. Um, if you have anything to say, like you drew it on there, but it doesn't look that great, you can leave a, a, a whoops, a comment on there and just be like, Sorry about crossing the line. I didn't mean to. And then you let me know that it, that was just, you know, a computer thing. I can't really do it that well from here. Or you can like try and open this in another tab if you really want to. You could download the, the thing and do it on paper and then take a picture of it. Um, but yeah. Then you just click the submit button and you're golden. Just fill out the rest of the page. You can use shapes or you can use drawing. Uh, the letters, the text box, and uh, yeah, that's, that's really, that's it. That's how you do Cami for the transposition.